Hi, my name is Leo and today I'm going to talk about my first appointment with my endocrinologist. As you might have noticed, a few things have changed since my last video. I'm wearing a hat. Well, and I came out of my closet, obviously. So today it's a bit friendlier with daylight from outside. I still need a proper mic. I did find an old mic at my parents' house. This. But it needs an ancient battery. I mean, no, it needs a new battery, obviously, but uh, it's such an old model that you can't buy it anywhere anymore except online. In fact, I couldn't find it anywhere. And obviously it used to be a common model and it even says it in here available in photo and radio stores. I'm not even sure if radio stores are around anymore. But enough on this topic for today. So as I told you in my last video, I was going to see my endocrinologist for the first time. This happened a couple of days ago. As I expected, it was not like a life changing experience. It was a pretty quick thing actually. At the reception I was handed a form uh, where I should fill in my name, my weight and my height and I should sign that. And to be honest I was surprised because I had expected a huge form with lots of boxes to check and every symptoms and diseases that are around in the world. I mean even at the dentists I have to fill out huge form with lots of boxes to check and you know so i was surprised because they are going to give me hormones based on my own declaration of my weight and my height okay that's going to be funny in the waiting room there were mainly women in their menopause at least that's what i guessed at first glance based on age gender expression, uh, you know what I mean. And then my endocrinologist called me in and she said, Miss? And I was confused because I thought she knows what I'm about or what, why I'm there, that Miss is not what I want to hear. And I thought, okay, I will explain to her why I'm here and Maybe next time she will call me Mr. And then we were in her office and, and she's a very quiet person, like actually I'm too. Yeah, and, and she asked me why I was there and, and I said, oh, by any chance did you receive the letter from my therapist? Because he had written a letter to her, like an introduction letter, so she's prepared for me. And then she said, oh yeah, wait. And then she went through a stack of paper and somewhere there was the letter and she reread it. And then she said, oh, okay, now I know. And I was relieved because, yeah, now we just had a quick talk about, you know, how it works. Do you have any questions? And then we talked about the whole process. Uh, I could ask her questions like, um, I was curious what she usually preferred, like the andro gel, which you have to rub in your skin every day, or she rather prefers the injections, like um, every month. Yeah, so I'm going to get injections every four weeks. I don't have to go to her, I can go to any doctor or do it myself if I'm brave enough. And of course, there are medical risks um, like stroke, coronary, you name it. But actually it's the same like every biological man also gets or, no, not gets, but the risk or the, the level of risk is about the same uh, like biological men have. And then she said, you know, I'll make a man out of you. And I thought, whoa, 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 wait, we are not so intimate yet. But okay, that were just my childish jokes in my head and I didn't say anything, thank God. Yeah, and then she said I should wait a couple of minutes in the waiting room again, fill out another form, but it was basically just that I allow them to take my blood and send it to some laboratory for the analysis. And while I filled out the form, one of the receptionists asked me, oh, Mr my last name, 
do you still need the letter from your therapist? And I thought, oh, interesting. Now I'm a mister. So I changed from miss to mister in just 10 minutes. Great. And the assistant who eventually took my blood just called me by my last name and I was absolutely fine with that. And I guess next time I am there, they will know and they will be aware of why I'm there and maybe they just call me Mr. right from the start. Yeah, that was the quick story about my first appointment with my endocrinologist. It was mainly just as expected, a short talk with her and then blood, blood, blood. My next appointment will be in five weeks, my birthday. And then we will discuss the results of the blood test and the chromosome test and make sure that I don't have any illnesses because this obviously has to be clarified before you take any hormone stuff. And yeah, but actually I'm not worried. I think I'm a pretty healthy person. And oh, she also said it's good that I don't smoke because you know, when you smoke, you have a higher risk of everything. And then in November, I guess I can start my hormone replacement therapy. Whoa, that's soon, very soon. Very, very soon. Okay, have a nice day, see you next time, bye.